today we're gonna talk about a new couple alert and the couple is fabiola and anissa so basically the show is called never have i ever season three days when their whole relationship actually begins but before we get into more details about their relationship and everything that happened between them please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and thank you thank you so much for all the love and all the support you guys been showing on the videos i truly appreciate it and if you know you know about never have i ever tell me what are your personal thoughts on the season do you like it do you dislike it what what is your personal opinion about it i really really would appreciate that so let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video so basically the show is available on netflix it's an american coming of age comedy drama about teenagers at high school yes it's a very fun you know show to watch and i will definitely recommend everyone to go watch it because it's very educational and you can learn actually learn a lot on it so i really really appreciate the show and it's young and it's fun and it's different i like it so let's talk about for uh you know about the main topic that is for fabiola and anissa so basically a quick sum up uh in in season two you can actually see that uh fabiola she was in a relationship with eve that's when she actually came out of the closet and eve also came out of the closet so they had a whole relationship so in the beginning of season three a quick sum up uh, fabiola and eve you know they began uh, a long distance relationship because eve moved to korea with her family so and they didn't want to break up with one another so they have decided to you know to have a long distance relationship but fabiola ended up you know uh d determining the, re the relationship because uh her and Eve's long distance relationship was starting to affect her at school her grades were going down and because she didn't sleep well she doesn't study that much because she's always on the phone with Eve so it was kind of affecting her so, so she decided to you know to end the relationship but they still kept it everything on good terms and on the other hand Anissa is uh is actually in a relationship with ben but she likes him but she doesn't feel supported and respected by him and fabiola showed her you know showed her so much love and support on like as a friend at the beginning and she was expecting that type of attention and support from her boyfriend and she didn't actually get it from him so she ended up breaking up with him because a lot have happened before she made that actual decision after fabiola and anissa shared the intimate moment together it, uh, things were a little bit awkward between them because they are friends and they are in the same circle they're always together but they had a conversation after the event and they decided to start you know dating and and things quickly quickly escalated between them because as soon as they figured out okay things are awkward let's talk about it and then after an event they had this whole event and everything was cool and then they said you know and anissa was actually the one who said yo we both we both like each other so let's date and that's actually what happened they started to date quickly and they made things between them official very very quick and that kind of affect the reason why things actually didn't work out between them because they did they skip a lot of steps you know they liked each other they shared the moment they decided just to be friends and out of the blue they start dating and being in a relationship they didn't actually build a romantic chemistry before taking that next step but after they decided to date things wasn't you know the same they both they were struggling to build a chemistry and a, and a romance between them they stayed patient and kept trying and kept trying to build romance and intimacy between them but it wasn't happening it felt forced you know the romantic connection was off they tried different things they tried to do it you know keep it fun keep it natural but it wasn't happening both of them were just off they felt like they were forcing a relationship that they both know it wasn't gonna work as time went by at the house party you know fabiola meets addison and when anissa saw how fabiola was blushing and having fun and just you know nervous around addison uh she realized that you know fabiola won't she and fabiola won't work out and they had a conversation during that event and they came to a mutual agreement that things won't work out between them and they have decided just to be friends and officially break things up with one another and i'm happy that it was a decision that came from both both parts and they both you know understood that we are better off just as friends because whatever we are trying to do right now it's not working it feels forced it feels like we are just gonna end up you know losing our friendship if we keep doing this so you know i'm happy that they both were on the same page regarding the situation so they end up breaking up and just to be friends but they stayed friends fabiola she broke up of course they broke up 
she decided to pursue Edison and they connect very well because they liked each other a lot and they had a lot in common. They shared an intimate moment and she lost her V-card with Edison. She was so happy because everything happened naturally. And, you know, and, uh, and on the other hand, Anissa, you know, she decided to stay single to focus on herself and maybe find her person in the future. And Fabiola went on dating Edison and building a, a situation slash relationship with Edison. So basically, that's, how, that's what happened. Yes, they don't have a happy ending together, but as individuals, they actually have a happy ending because Fabiola found a person who she wants to be with. And, you know, and Anissa, she needs to be alone because she went from one relationship to another relationship real 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 quick she didn't have time to heal to process everything and to move on appropriately regarding the situation so and i definitely agree why the two ladies didn't work out because they are you can see that they actually have a very genuine connection with one another you know the way they speak the way they interact with one another is very good because they are friends they were friends before they decided to be together but things just didn't work out between them and i because you can see anissa was trying to be there to build their romance and also Fabiola was also there trying to build a romance, trying to make things work, but things wasn't working. They really, really did try, but it wasn't happening. It felt very, very, very forced. And I'm happy that Fabiola found someone who she genuinely connect with after Eve, because if you know about Fabiola and Eve's relationship, you know that they really, they were really intense and very romantic and very affectionate with one another. And on the other hand, Fabiola and Anissa, they were not, they were none of that. And the fact that Fabiola found Addison to have that connection and that intimacy again, it, 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 it you know, it's fair. And yes, they're on good terms, they are friends. But guys, I want to know what is your personal opinion regarding the show. Did you like it? Do you dislike it? Have you watched it? Haven't you watched it? And what would you grade, you know, Fabiola and Anissa's relationship from 1 to 10? Also, one thing I wanted to do before we end this video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you once again for everybody who likes, who comments, who shares, and who subscribes to the channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And I've, I have just dropped the Wolf Bright Candle brand and the link of the store will be down below in the comments. And I also activated the super stickers. If any of you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, I will definitely appreciate it. And please let me know as well down below in the comments what type of commentaries would you guys like me to do when it comes to movies, TV shows, documentaries, you know, reality shows, whatever it is. Please drop it down below in the comment. I would really, really appreciate suggestions and all of that. But most importantly, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really, really enjoyed making this video. And yes, the most importantly, I really hope you guys enjoy. And I, me personally, just to sum it up real quick, I really agree on the this uh, on the decision that Fabiola and Anissa did. It's fair for both of them, you know, to be parts and still be friends. But I'm happy that they could find a way to still keep their friendship going and not make things awkward regarding after the breakup so i'm happy with the decision and i definitely understand why things things had to happen the way they happened so basically that's it guys i hope you guys enjoy once again and goodbye